Let us rejoice and be glad and give the glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Amen. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people were, was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All, All you nations, praise, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born here, there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, <clears throat> and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All the nations praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All the nations praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, 
and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. morning. In John's Gospel, chapter 14, a very familiar passage, Jesus declares to his disciples, I am the way, the truth, and the life. From this discourse, those who would follow his teachings came to be called followers of the way. And there are still other names for this growing number of followers. I've already used one of these, disciples, a pupil or follower. They were sometimes referred to as saints. Today, the church teaches that a saint is anyone in heaven. Then, it was a holy one, someone who is set apart for God's special purpose. Also, because of their association and belief in the teachings of Jesus, the Nazarene, they were often called Nazarenes. This morning, in the first reading, we find the first use of the word Christian, a term used only three times in sacred scripture. First in this passage from Acts 11, then again in Acts 26 by King Agrippa, listening to St. Paul's defense of himself. Agrippa replies, I would pray to God that sooner, or excuse me, Agrippa replies, you will soon persuade me to play the Christian, to which Paul answers, I would pray to God that sooner or later, not only you, but all who listen to me today might become as I am. And finally, the term Christian is used in 1 Peter chapter 4. Isaiah the prophet proclaimed, You shall be called by a new name bestowed by the mouth of the Lord. The name Christian comes from the joining of two Greek terms. The first, Christ, meaning the anointed one, and the word in, I-A-N, Greek for little. From this new name, we who are called Christians are called to be little Christs. We are anointed by the Holy Spirit to be representatives of Christ in this old troubled world. To be called Christian is a call to change, to a new way of living according to the teachings of Jesus. It is a change in lifestyle. It is belief when it is hard to believe. It is choosing to love those who, would be, who it would be easier to hate. And it is choosing and setting God first in our lives. This morning, my prayer for all of us, including myself, is to echo the words of St. Paul. I would pray to God that sooner or later, all who listen might become, as Paul, little Christs. This is our faith. This, then, is our hope. <clears throat> Mother Mary, in your wisdom, pray for us. Coming together as one family of faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. For our Archbishop, for the Holy, our Holy Father, for all priests, religious brothers and sisters, seminarians and permanent deacons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who would watch this Mass on video, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all of us here present, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the sick and shut-ins in both our parishes and for those who care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Father Amon Miley, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary, the Mother of God, to intercede for us as we pray. Amen. 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 And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Mary, the Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. All the praise and glory of his name. Father, Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation mm -hmm. at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome a Paschal joy every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together in the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the highest. You are indeed, Holy Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Say, Amen. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of <clears throat> salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Pyramid with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be healed in the number of but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah. <coughs> Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. May our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with him when you all may pray. And be you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust in hell, Satan, and all the enemy spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God, and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament and altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, prayer plea. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, our most cherished spouse. Blessed be God, and his angels, and his saints.